How's it going Pokemon trainers? Once again, welcome back to Pokemon DCG Center. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, welcome and I also want to apologize for not being able to upload um, any content to my channel um, this weekend. Um, basically, I was uh, sick, so that's the main reason and main, main issue is that I was not able to uh, work on something. Um, but yeah, here we go again, and in today's video I'm gonna basically um, show you the um, one interesting deck list. So um, for today's video I decided to build a Tapu Lele deck, of course featuring Wicobolt. So without further ado, let's take a look at the deck by itself. So the first thing um, I'm running in this build, uh, of course, Three copies of Tapu Lele GX, of course with the Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. Unfortunately, Tapu Cure GX will not be, um, it's not usable um, in this version of the deck because this deck does not run any copy of the um, Psychic Energies. So, three Tapu Leles, of course, the first one for that turn one setup. Uh, two of them, very good for the late game. Um, grabbing Guzmar Skyla, depend um, on the situation on the board, of course. Um, then for the main attacker, of course, I'm running three copies of Tapu Bulu GX with Horde Attack, with Natural Judgment and Tapu Wildness GX, 180 HP. Um, Pokemon, no weakness, no resistance. Uh, kind of like the Trader Treat cost because it can be searched, uh, it's searchable with a Heavy Ball. And uh, yeah, you can go for 120 with Natural Judgment. Um, 180 if you decide to discard uh, basically all energy cards um, but if you don't really want to discard all energy cards um, in that situation um, you can simply hit for like 120 um, but with the GX attack you can go for like 150 um, and then heal all damage counters in addition to that, running one copy of Tapu Koko with the Fly Flip, just for the free retreat purpose. Um, then running, of course, one of each um, Rem 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 and Octillery, um, just for that Bezel Hand. Uh, it's very important, to be honest, um, for the late game, somehow be able to um, draw more cards. Octillery might not be good, it really depends, um, but I kind of like it. Because being able to draw uh, up to 5 cards can be very powerful. Um, some players should definitely agree that um, Oranguru is better. Um, then I'm running 3 copies of Grabin. Featuring 2 Cherry Bugs of course. And in addition to that, I'm also running 3 copies of Wicobolt. So, do I really need to talk too much about Wicobolt? I guess I don't need... Um, 150 HP. Good thing is definitely re uh, resistance minus 20, which means that Metagross, for example, cannot go for the one hit knockout against Wicobolt as long as Wicobolt is full HP. So I kind of like that, to be honest. It's pretty cool against uh, Metagross matchup. And of course, I'm running one copy of Wicobolt GX. So it's a 240 HP. Um, with that Gigator GX attack, it's a kind of interesting deck, um, interesting tech in this build because with four energies we can go for like sixty to all of our opponent Pokemon's in play, which can be pretty cool um, and very powerful. Um, then moving on to the um, support line, of course I'm running one copy of Bridget, so with the Bridget I can basically uh, set up. Three Pokemon on my bench. So let's just say we have Tapu Bulu as the active one, and then we have Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele turn one into the something like Bridget for Grabbing, Remoride, and maybe Tapu Coco, or maybe two Grabbings and Remoride, and then turn two, um, even Rare Candy Heavy Ball can go into the Weak Vault, and any kind of Ultra Ball or even driving Octillery can help us to have that Abyssal Hand, which is just amazing. Um, in addition to that, of course, running two copies of Guzma, it's substitution for the um, Lysander, of course. 
pretty good, uh, pretty good card. Uh, also very good, just in case if we stack with a weak world auxiliary or weak world GX in the front and we cannot retreat. Very important. Um, of course, two copies of Skyla. Skyla is a very important piece of puzzle in this build, mainly because of the rare candy play. Um, and probably many of you would not agree with me running only three copies of N in this build. Probably plenty of players will say that three copies of N um too low. I don't know. Somehow, I really... Um, rely on the auxiliary, a bezel hand, and I don't see the reason why you wouldn't go with three hands, especially if you run auxiliary, just because probably your opponent will not try to knock out your auxiliary, he will definitely want to get rid of the weak vault. Um, then of course, four copies of Sycamore, we really need to have um, powerful this card hand draws seven cards, so yeah, definitely four Sycamores makes a lot of sense. And that's it, that's everything from the support line, as you can see it right here. Uh, moving on to the other cards, um, time is one, I'm running one copy of Heavy Ball. So with the Heavy Ball we can search Tapu Pulu, Weak Vault and Weak Vault GX. Um, I think Cherry Bug is also a treat cost, yes it is, so also Cherry Bug can be searched. Um, one copy of Rescue Stretcher, so with the Rescue Stretcher we can grab any Pokemon from Disco Pile back to hand or shuffle three of them um, to our deck. And probably many players right now will criticize me for running um, Fighting Fury Belt because in some certain matchups against 210 HP Pokemon, like for example Nightless GX, I'm not going to be able to go for the one hit knockout with none of my Pokemon because I don't have a Choice Band or Kukui. I do agree with that. Um, but on the other side, with the Fighting Fury Belt and uh, with Stadium in play, I can have much more HP, um, plus I can have much more chance to survive even two hit knockouts against some decks. So that's the reason why I decided to go with a much more defensive um, meta. But this is mainly because where I'm playing this deck, many players actually have decks that contains Vulcanion, um, Drampa Garbador, um, other Drampa Garbador version of the deck, Espion Garbador, and uh, Metagross decks. So I basically always try to play a deck that can counter those types of the decks. So this is one of the reasons. Um, while I'm running Fighting Fury Belts, but on the other side, I can always spread some damage counters with the Fly Flip around the board, and then I can go for the one hit knockout, even with the Fighting Fury Belt. Where on the other side, I can maybe survive, you know, two hit knockouts from the, um, let's say, uh, Alola Ninthals, for example, because if he hit for 50 or 80, and if I have Stadium in play, I can reduce damage for 30. And then if I have 220 HP, and if he hits me again for 160, I will not be knocked out. So this is one of the reasons. Um, two copies of Field Blower. I feel it's very important to run Field Blowers, mainly because of the um, Garbodor decks. And then two copies of Float Stones, which might be good or might not be good. Um, well, I think one Float Stone is very important to have in deck, but two of them sounds like a sweet spot, just in case of the Guzma. Um, but many, many players might not just even run a single Float Stone. Um, I really want to have Switch option, and Float Stone sounds like a good idea. Um, maybe even Escape Probe might not be that bad, just because with Escape Probe we can always force our opponent to promote something else from the active position to the um, from the bench to the active position, but I really want to have just, you know, in case, um, retreat option if I stuck with something in the front. Two copies of energy recycle, so I can recycle my um, energies uh, from Discord pile back to my deck, it's very important for the weak world of course, and two Aether Paradise conversation areas as the stadium, so each of my grass Pokemons Mainly Tapu Bulu will have 30 damage uh, less to take. Um, of course, 
stadium card can easily be substituted with something like a choice band um, even extra guzma so if you don't feel comfortable running that you can always swap that out of course three copies of rare candy because this is the um, stage two support deck and we really need to have rare candies and we really want to have option to have that turn to weaker vault but just in case of the espion ex um, devolution miracle attack i'm running also two cherry bugs um, which is definitely good uh, four copies of ultra ball discard two cards from your hand search your deck for um, any pokemon and from the energy cards i'm running only three copies of lighting energies um, probably again Plenty of you will criticize me for running only three energies, and three of them just lighting energies. Sounds like a crazy idea, um, but trust me, it's just good. It works pretty well. And uh, in addition to that, eight grass energies. And that's it. That's pretty much my Tapa Bull GX Wicca Wall deck that I'm using in the standard format and one of my decks that I have built. Uh, in my deck garage so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video make sure to hit a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like this list let me know also in the comments below what you think about it if you're looking for any of these cards make sure to check ccgcastle.com link is provided in my video description just in case if you don't know it's a very nice online pokemon store with plenty of good sealed or single products so definitely looking forward to seeing you in the next video have a nice day whatever you are so till the next time goodbye